Dads, we are going live this morning with some hot tips for you on how to stretch out your body, rectify any tightness in your muscles. We're going to go through a really short tutorial on stretching. Marty Lee, I hope you're tuning in, buddy. Um, this will be here for all of you to watch later if you're not with me now. Okay, so let's talk for starters. A lot of you have lower back tightness, you've got knee problems. What you don't want to do is stop exercising those areas completely. When it's sore, you want to do the stretches, you want to get the massages, you want to use your roller, which is something really simple you can buy from Amart or um, any of the sports stores, and it's something that will take the, uh, take the place of a massage to a great extent, and I'm going to show you, show you how to use that. But for starters, just remember that when it comes to the knees, you've got all those muscles that support your knees. And if you have bad knees, what tends to happen is people lay off doing a lot of exercise because they say, oh, I've got bad knees. However, what happens is that muscle breaks down, it wastes away if we don't use it and we don't um, maintain or build it. And so those muscles aren't supporting that joint properly. So you're going to progressively feel that it gets worse as you get older. When it comes to your lower back, um, if you don't strengthen it, it's going to continue to get weaker, okay? So we've got to do the corrective exercises, the stretches, and the strengthening exercises. I'm all for strengthening, lengthening, and loosening out your body. So strengthen it with exercise, loosen it out with massage, and lengthen it out with stretching, okay guys? So let's start with... If you don't have a roller, what you can do for your lower back. The very first thing is when you get up in the morning and you feel it's very tight, what you want to, what you want to do is get into the hot shower for starters. Get some blood flow in there. Do a couple of these in the shower. Get down like this, lengthen it out, you know. There's a great little yoga uh, video that I made yesterday with my brother for the program, guys. And... Um, and you know, that's goal too, just to get some, some movement into it for starters in the morning. But honestly, get that hot shower going. Once you've done that, then you can go for a walk, you can, um, you can get home and you can do some stretches. So the first one is, you wanna lie down like this and you just want to start hugging one knee up at a time. If it's really sore, guys, like Marty Least's is this morning, that's where it starts then. Grab on, and you want to do some rocking and rolling, just like so, okay? My absolute favorite is you put your arms out to the side, you bring your feet in close to your bum, and then all you do is with every out breath, you come across your body like that with the out breath. The other thing you can do, and this is what you'll see the footy players do, is they kick their leg up and over, okay? What you'll find, a lot of your lower back problem comes from tightness in other muscles as well, especially the, the glutes and up the side here. So to get into that area, what you wanna do is you come into this position here, you step all the way across and extend as far as you can behind you, you let this foot drop out to the side, and then you very slowly get down into it and that's going to stretch right into your butt there as well, okay? So you'll find that if there's tightness in any of those muscles surrounding your lower back, that's going to cause a lot of that lower back issue, okay? When it comes to the knees, of course, you've got something basic like your quad stretch, okay? And most people do this wrong because they go like that. What you want to do is you bring your knee down next to the other one, okay? You're grabbing on as close to your toes as possible, and then you're trying to open up your hip backwards, and then squeeze your foot to the middle of your butt like that, okay? So that's the stretch you wanna be doing to get right down through the middle there. You also wanna stretch out your hip flexor, and that's taking a super big step forward, and then lunging forward into it to lengthen out that area there like that, okay? So hamstrings, a lot of people when they sit um, in their office job or sit doing their, uh, 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 doing their long hauls in the truck, for example, you get really tight hamstrings. You want to stretch them out so you can just bend your knees slightly. That takes some of the pressure from 
behind the knee away, and then just allow yourself to drop down into that stretch. And you want to basically breathe out and try and with that out breath, get that little bit further down into the stretch. If this is where you currently are, I would say that's got a lot to do with your back being tight and your hamstrings and your butt being tight. So by doing these stretches, you're going to be able to improve that area as well. So once again, just breathing down into it, keep a little bit of a bend in the knees, just let yourself relax into it. Okay, that's probably enough for lower body stretches, lower back stretches right now. So what we wanna do is move to upper body. You've been doing your push-ups, for example. You don't wanna get really tight through your chest. A lot of people also have rounded shoulders because their shoulders and chest are too tight. What you wanna do is every time you walk through a door frame, <laughs> okay, or walking past a wall, you wanna put your elbow up in line with the shoulder, you want to take a step forward with the same foot and then you want to relax into it and turn away. So you're turning your head away, you'll feel a bit of a stretch through your neck, you're going to feel that opening up all through there. You're going to hold that stretch. Once you've held that for, let's say 10 deep breaths. So instead of 20 seconds, we'll say 10 nice deep breaths. That's going to allow your body to relax into the stretch and get the most out of it. Once you've done that, just extend your arm. Let your fingers bend backwards so you feel it through your forearm and your bicep as well. And you're gonna stretch all down your arm like so. And you'll even feel a little bit of a stretch through there, okay? So you're really trying to turn away, turn your head away, hold that stretch for 10 deep breaths, okay? Next one you wanna do is, I'll just show you here, is you want to find something to hold on to and you're going to stretch out your back muscles. So you're going to bend your knees and you're going to stick your butt out as far as you can. One arm works a lot better than two and you want to try and swivel that hip away so you're lengthening out that whole area like so. Once again, make sure you're breathing into it, okay? After you've done that, I want you to tuck your hand in the small of your back I want you to put your elbow in front of the wall or the door and you're going to go shoulder back, elbow forward. And this almost feels like a uh, uh, dislocated feeling through your shoulder. And what you're doing here is you're stretching out your rotator cuff. So when you do your, uh, your bench presses, your push-ups, your shoulder presses, everything like that. You're building up the big muscles that sit on top of your shoulder, but you've got your little rotator cuff muscles that sit internally, and they're very easy to be damaged. A lot of people have problems with their shoulders because they're very tight, or they, they damage their rotator cuff, and you know it's an area that gets neglected. So the, the physio will give you these little ones with the band to do to strengthen your rotator cuff. How many people do you see warming up their shoulder properly before they exercise um, and also stretching them out? So that is your rotator cuff stretch, okay? So you want to stretch out both sides, of course, keep everything nice and even. All right, so shoulder back, chest up, elbow forward. You're allowing that wall to help you to push that elbow forward. You can do it without, but you'll find you can get that better stretch by doing that. If you are super tight through that area, you might find it even hard to get that shoulder, um, you know, to allow that flexibility to get your hand behind. But over time, you can get better. Stretching is one of those things when you do it on a consistent basis, it gets better. If you don't, you get progressively tighter and that's when you get injury. So if you feel like your lower back is giving out on you now, start stretching, do it consistently. I'm talking at least once a day potentially twice a day. So in the mornings, get yourself going after a shower, at night, after a big day at work, throughout the day, if you can get into the habit of doing it, especially if you've got tightness through your back and chest and bad posture. If you find yourself rounding over like that, you've really got to open that out. So stretch out your chest. This is something you can get uh, quite easily from your sports store. They all sell them these days for anywhere between $30 to $50. So 
You can get them online as well, you might save a bit of money doing that, okay? So, all you wanna do, you start off by sitting your bottom onto it and rocking and rolling. So you're just trying to find some of those tight spots in your butt. Um, I know a few dads who are tight asses with their money, you might have a tight ass too. So, um, okay. Once you've done that, what you wanna do is put your hands behind you like so and start getting into around that tailbone and around that lower back and that's going to allow you to get rid of some of that tightness. Then, put your hands on your thighs. This is gonna to help to take a little bit of pressure off. This is where most people find it absolutely excruciating. So you can put your hands on there, just start to rock and roll. If you find a particularly tight spot, what you wanna do is roll below that tight spot and above that tight spot and you'll be able to loosen out that section first and then hopefully roll into that really tight area a little bit more. Then you can start to roll towards your shoulder blades, put your hands behind, strike a pose, start rocking and rolling in between your shoulder blades all the way up. As you can see, I'm doing fairly fast, short, sharp movements, okay? Most people like to, you can, you can just stop and give yourself some break there. You might find you get some good cracks out that way as well. All right, but you can go all the way up into your neck, okay? Now this also uses a bit of abs and legs to do, all right? And then, this is my little trick. See if you can do it, is rolling yourself back up. I'm actually sliding on that mat. I can normally do it better than that, but um, you're back to your butt. So you can go through that a couple of times, all the way down. And all the way back up again. Use your hands just to give you that little bit of extra push. Okay, so that is the roller. What you can do as well, most people don't know about something called your ITB. If your ITB is tight, it's going to um, change the tracking of your kneecap and um, that's gonna cause major knee issues. So what you wanna do is roll down the side of your thigh where your iliotibial band is located. And that's gonna allow you to get into that area. You can also practice for your partner <laughs> and give your quads a good roll out, okay? You can also roll out your hands. That one's a little bit harder and your carbs, okay? So, um, obviously good for uh, practicing some of those sexual positions as well. <laughs> okay, that's the roller. Go out, grab one, save yourself a bit of money on getting massages. Massages are still great. I'm a massage therapist myself, um, and obviously very important to get massages regularly as well, especially if you have some real issues, but this can save you some money because you can use it every day. You can roll out some of those tight areas and get on top of it. Your erectus venae, which is running down the middle of your spine. These are fantastic for rolling out that. And a lot of people get really tight through there, especially if you sit behind a desk. So um, yeah, great for that as well. Okay guys, that'll do it for now. Hope you got something awesome out of it. Ciao for now. <laughs>